Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another Marvel Character Talk. Today we're going to look through the Silver Age Marvel Amazing Spider-Man number 66 with Mysterio, John Romita, and Stan Lee. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Real nice cover. Classic Mysterio cover. I believe this is the first uh, story that uh, Jazzy Johnny's going to do after Sturdy Steve on for uh, Mysterio. Cool cover, all the smoke. The only thing I don't like is this little advertisement that they had there. There's the back cover. This one's a, a medium grade, a reading copy. Let's take a look here. 1968 November so that was on sale August of 68 the madness of Mysterio it also has uh, Don Heck and McDemio in uh, here Let's take a look here Got this uh, miniature uh, fair set up. There he is there. I believe this is Quentin Beck. Real cool. He's like the eye and the hands. In a lot of ways, he uh, carries on the, the look of uh, Steve Ditko had for these who originated it. They mentioned... Uh, Last year, especially, was in. Oh, that's right. He was in that one. But Jazzy Johnny didn't draw that one. I think that was Larry Lieber. He did the annual. So he's going to break out. Back to the drawing board. I haven't reread this one, so I'm going to reread it soon. And then this one was a continued. There's Spidey. I always like when they show what he's thinking about. There's the Green Goblin always worried about Norman Osborn. There's Gwendolyn, Gwen Stacy. Betty Brant, Jay Jonah. There's pictures of the Vulture. They were still selling a few things here. These were new, the plastic pillows. Still said some of the shirts. Still mentioning the MMS kit. Yeah, these had a lot of Peter Parker and so forth. And his cast besides uh, Spider-Man actually in action. Yeah, the biggest difference was the way Peter Parker looked compared to Ditko. Took some getting used to. For many, that's the more classic look, and Dick goes more quirky. Cool head for Cheerios. Oh, lots and lots of uh, this. Talking, 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 talking. Stan Lee filling this all up. I like when Stan has to do the dialogue for the young people here. It's kind of corny for the time. Stan was well into his 40s here and trying to do a 18, 19, 20-year-old, 1960s, late 60s dialogue. Oh, there's a little cameo of uh, Green Goblin. Lot going on. Hmm, so a lot of psychological stuff that uh, Mysterio was doing. It was neat to see Mysterio in the live action. When Spider-Man came back and into the MCU. Little 
this coloring there. And then you got some wrap sock. Hmm. Of course, uh, what was it? Spider-Man 13 was his first appearance, and then he fought him again. But he wasn't on the cover because he was like a psychiatrist in number 23. Of course, uh, Mysterio was part of the original Sinister Six. They're already adding. He's having ads for back issues way back when. So they got him thinking he's shrunk down. So that's the, the next cover had uh, sort of like that, looked like that, and it was sort of a monochromatic cover. A squash a spider. Got the bullpen page, sand soapbox. What was coming out? We'll take a look here briefly. And they got FF80, annual six, annual five. That was the one with Peter's parents, Avengers 57, Avengers Special 2, 49 for the X-Men, 45 for Daredevil, and then they had started on uh, Captain America and Hulk and so forth on all their own. Uh, Hulk had a special then too. That's a classic Starenko cover. If you ever seen that, he's leaning down and the Supporting the weight of the title of Hulk, Incredible Hulk. So extra art there on that page, and then we got the two page letters page, the Spider's Web. Let's see, I think this is a mistake showing a vulture. Unless that's part of, supposed to be just part of the artwork there. The Web and the Wonder. And I think the Madness of Mysterio is, uh, that's, uh, this was out too. Spectacular Spider-Man, that's cool. I have that somewhere, that's a magazine side, that's on a bookshelf somewhere. I think I have a fairly one, good one. Yeah, this was the Madness of Mysterio. What do they say? The, do they say what, the, what it's a squash of spider. All right, so that was a look through uh, Silver Age. I do a lot of look throughs. You can find a lot of those in my Marvel character talks. Some I just look at the cover. Some I do CGC headings. Did some hero clicks and some other Marvel merchandise. Lots of things to see. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Excelsior, Wallop and Web Snappers.